Wednesday, September 23rd, edition of News and Then. First up, pump attendant shot Rob at New Amsterdam gas station. Here is that story. The police are looking at this surveillance video as they try to arrest two motorcycle suspects who shot and robbed Shazam Melville, a pump attendant at the M. Ali's gas station. According to the police report, their initial inquiries disclosed that the victim was at the gas station preparing to leave the location to take the night sales to his employer. The Pelion rider immediately dismounted from the motorcycle, approached the victim and held onto the bag he had in his possession. The victim refused to release the said bag and as a consequence, the suspect shot him in his upper back causing the victim to let go of the bag. An eyewitness to the incident said at first he thought it was a joke when the man rode up and demanded the bag. So eventually now, he was sitting because the gas station was all of that busy. And then all of a sudden, so two motorbike men rolled up and um, pulled a gun and say, um, pass the bag. So he was out here with the bag ready to go across by the head office. So I he said, pass the bag. As I look at him, it's a game, you know, something like a game. Is he for him? Is something like a game? But I leave and I go to sell the customers. While he's selling the customers, the guy still keeping his his pass the bag. So I said, this is serious. Then he passed the bag by before he finished and the proceeding. So then I walk to the motorbike. When I walk to the motorbike now, he already take the bag from the colleague, which right? his name is Shazam, and. He scrambled the bag and I approached the next one from the motorbike. Um, by the time I go to him, pull out a knife. And then he shot the Shazam in his back and jumped on the motorbike and just turned out and went to The victim was rushed to the New Amsterdam hospital where emergency treatment was administered to remove the bullet. His condition is now listed as stable. Police investigations are continuing into the matter. Melissa Khan using the more news after this break. Stay with us. Shh. It's your new secret. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there's such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh. Harish Singh, the 17-year-old teenager from No. 3 Village, West Coast, Babies, who was murdered, was today laid to rest. Singh was found murdered in the back dam of No. 3 Village, West Coast, Babies, days after the Henry Cousins, Joel and Isaiah's mutilated bodies were found in the back dam at Cotton Tree. President Ali was there to pay his final respects to Singh at Poussard's funeral home, New Amsterdam. The president used the opportunity to call on Guyanese to place their focus on healing and unifying the country is going to work day in and day out to bring our people together through policies and programs to bring our people together through social efforts merging of culture I think is important in creating that Guyanese identity ensuring that Social safety nets are there for the vulnerable in our society. We have to do these things in addition to ensuring justice is served for these three young men today for Harish. But importantly also, we have to reflect on these incidents and ensure that we build mechanisms in our society ensure that we strengthen our society and strengthen our resolve 
in ensuring this does not occur again in our history. I have had the task in addition to visiting these families and attending the funerals to talk to many of the persons who are injured. Some of them uh, cannot fend for their own now because of the type of injury. So at some point also, we have to have that healing process there. I want, uh, I want them to know that all those who persons who were affected in various ways, that we are going to connect with them also. I've seen a lot of postings on social media. Personally, I have called many of them myself. Um, but we have to connect with them to find ways in which we can help as a government, um, especially those who would have lost uh, severely and got severe injuries. So that is another uh, issue that we will have to deal with that I know is engaging the media attention also. But today I think is a day for us to reflect. Today is a day for us to Remember these families in our prayers. Remember the Harish families, family today in our prayers and to recommit ourselves individually and collectively to a Guyana that will be better and a Guyana in which unity will prevail. That is the most and the best thing we can do in memory of these three young men. President Ali also assured that with the assistance requested from the British government and the Regional Security Service to assist local police, the perpetrators will be brought to justice. I believe that the Guyana Police Force, with the support that we have requested from uh, the regional institutions and from uh, the British government would allow us to bring all these criminals who perpetuated this, these acts to justice. But I think a lot of our focus now in memory of these three young men has to be on healing. It has to be on bringing our country together. It has to be on unifying our efforts in ensuring that all Guyanese that our future does not have repeat of these horrific uh, incidents. Harris Singh was found with a wound to his head and his motorcycle was also burnt. There are reports that the dead teen is the grandson of one of the suspects in custody for the murders of the teenagers Joel and Isaiah Henry. Range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh. According to a police report, the incident occurred at approximately 1.30 hours today, Wednesday, September 23, 2020. The escapee was identified as Leroy Graham, 23, of Middlewalk, Boxton. He was on remand for armed robbery and was admitted to prison on August 20, 2020. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is asked to contact the Lusignan Operations Room on 220-4173 or the nearest police station. And that has brought us to the end of our news for tonight. For these and other stories, visit our website at rdproductiongy.com or our Facebook and Instagram page at Royce and Drinks Production. On behalf of our news team, thank you for joining us. Join us again tomorrow for more news. Good night.